today we are going to dehorn some of the calves in here. Colin's going to do the dehorning. We have got to separate the calves and the cows. We've got a little trick for that. Keithy is going to be here to help us with the calves and then he's going to go and do some fertilizing. Which post do you want to go off Ag? Straight across, yeah. That'll do. Mm. Come in that way, Keithy boy. Go in with it, man. And then we've got to get calves out. All we can do is just feed them and then we've got to try and drive calves out, innit? Yeah. We did this trick uh, a couple of days ago and it worked pretty well. Come on, girls. Come on. Come on. Come on. Works all right, doesn't it, Keith? <coughs> Bit easier than normal, isn't it? Yeah. We'll get, we'll get mixed up if we don't look out, won't we? Yeah. Mm. That's it, let's see if we can get them cows into it, you know. Yeah. Them cows will come back to these guys and they'll be a pain. <laughs> We managed to separate the cows, the calves from the cows, and we do that because the cows will just stand right in your ear. You can hear them, you can hear them in the background bellowing, and they'll do that constantly until we're finished. Uh, and they think we're separating them, but we're not. But it's best to have them a little bit away just so we can work. Uh, so we've got ourselves a little calf pen here. All the calves are going to run round into this small pen here and you want it small so you can manoeuvre the calves through the crush because they're not used to the crush or anything like that. Uh, so I'll most likely be in the crush with him. Colin will be doing the dehorning. He always comes and does, does the dehorning for us. So we'll see Colin. Yeah, and uh, the dehorning doesn't hurt. We'll, uh, we'll talk to Colin when he comes, show you how he does it. Uh, we have done one of these videos before. So if you want to check back on what we did, how we did last year, well, I think we we're over in the other pen. Uh, but yeah, we did one before. We're gonna have earache by the end of the day. Is this for you? Yes, please. Not yet. Don't lose it. Right. I want no squealing for bad legs and I've been kicked and oh, is that my shit? That was easy. No remind you of sweat the air. Back in old Bry never used to keep his No, I bet he didn't. Old Bry was on. Uh, 
make a big song and dance about it. It's always at this opportune moment. Exactly. I'm making sure. Exactly. You still got that posh one now? Still got the posh one? Yeah. Oh yeah. in that today, so we've got to be careful. <laughs> Are you talking about me? Right. God! Did you, uh, did you make this crap? You can buy them, yeah. Works alright though, doesn't it? Before we had these rails back in there, uh, they didn't walk in push them in. No. Yeah. So we moved the rail and pushed them in. Calm down. There's all the coals. I don't know how long it's been about. It's only done it this year, hasn't it? It's been quite a few times. Whereabouts do you poke that then, Carl? There you go, farmer. You poke it. Between the eyes here. In there like that. In there like that. Just like that. I'll tell you what, that will be the best answer I've got all day. I know. He's a natural. I'm going to have to ring Spielberg to say I've got another award next week. We just do that for all those and then we'll come back when we're doing the next thing. So what are you feeling for now? You feeling for like a lump? Yeah. Uh, feel the bud in there. Yeah. And sometimes they just won't have them. No. Well, like you were saying earlier man, when you've got those good hair 12 months old yeah. and they still only got a little tiny bubble. Yeah, you'll never see it now. You're never going to find them. No. Come on, Ed. Right, so we put a dot on the front of the ones that have got to come in first, haven't we? Then the middle, and then the dot on the end, they got to come in last. When you get a bit tired, bring a line in, and then that'll save Colin Yeah, 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 yeah. It just keeps. <laughs> Brian used to bring them in, in exactly in the right time, so you separate them off. So the line yeah. would come in in 10 minutes. And you go another time, then you bring a line in, then give Colour rest. Oh, right. I don't know whether you'll be that skillful, right? Oh, okay. We'll see. Are you, are you keeping up with me, all right, Carl? Just about. <laughs> hey, up the big boss is back now. Thank you, Carl. Oh, not as eager this time, eh? No. Did it work? Just took a bit of Yeah, yeah, it worked all right. There was one or two stragglers. Oh, 
in the arse, the old tags, the old tags used to be in water, and these had, no. um, they, had they had a nuisance, but they're a bit Let's more painful than they need to be. They've got to have two tags. Sweet. Uh, here we go, Carl. It's break time now. Have a break. And then we'll have to do it, Carl, won't we? Time for a break. <laughs> Trouble is, he'll be like a little warm day, wouldn't it? Yeah, he's gonna he's gonna have a cool down. Then we've got to warm him back up again. <laughs> Got a few in the other bag. Yeah. Right, just give me a bit of air. Break time's over. Come on. Hang on. <laughs> He's doing handstand. Yeah, I see your horn. Yeah. Just going on there like that. I'm going round it. Yeah. Till we get to the skull. Because they all will grow from the outside. Uh, round and round. Just feed it. Oh, and it there breaks off. And that's what's left. All clean. Yeah. That's the skull. Yeah. And no blood from that. That's because it cauterizes it as you do. Oh, right. So that's why you use hot iron. Yeah. Yeah. So if you just cut them off, yeah. they bleed. Lots of blood, yeah. Makes you smell your clothes smell nice, Carl. Yeah, bloody horrible. <laughs> You're generally not allowed in the house once you've been doing this. <laughs> <laughs> she comes. There's usually glue everywhere. Oh, I'm too glad to <laughs> There we go. Right, so uh, GoPro died, obviously. Let's take that off. 
Just let the cows oh. out. What the mums will probably do now is start licking at the horns. So uh, we'll give them an hour or two, then we'll come back through, check the calves, and make sure there's no bleeding. That yeah, worked really well. Pretty good. And you can see, look, I'll show you a calf down here. He's in no pain or nothing. You know, he's, he's fine. It's just lying in the sun. That's how we want it. Nice and easy, nice and calm. Here's the old bull. And all the noise will stop now, which is good. It is now the end of the day, and what we're gonna do is just have one last scan through the cattle. The old man would have come through halfway through the day and just made sure, made just, Make sure where, because the uh, what will happen is the cows will start licking where obviously we've dehorned them, and by licking them they lick the scabs off and then they start to bleed. And uh, we just make sure, just double check, make sure there's no uh, calves bleeding. And right, so here's a prime example. Should probably well let us get close to him. But I can tell she's been licking his head because all the blue's gone off his head. But he's not bleeding, so that's a good thing. And I'll just check the others in the shed. But uh, that's going to do it for another video. Thank you very much for watching. As always, make sure you like and subscribe. Merch in the description. Check it out. And uh, yeah, we'll catch you next time. Cheers.